Welcome to the first ever Sprunk Extreme One Cup Racing Series. This is the pilot race, and uh, obviously I had to be involved in it to actually make sure that this was exactly the way we wanted things to be. Uh, and it's very exciting for me to have it. it. I've seen a lot of people make tracks like this. Uh, I haven't seen very good implementation of it. Uh, and it's not for lack of trying. It really is based on the idea that unlike most races where there is really a race of skill that's associated with abilities to take turns, curb boosting, that kind of thing, the super speedway mindset of stock car racing really comes down to slipstream. A lot of people do like to turn on the catch-up option of it, and catch-up just does not really, it does not have a losing aspect to it. So for this, we are really looking for a lot of players to fill up a room on a super speedway. This will be a series of 10 events. It will include some short track races. I actually do have a Martinsville racetrack that we will be racing on, which I am really looking forward to because it's a really tight course and with a lot of racers on it, it makes that life very busy. Uh, and it's going to be first some come first serve. It's going to be done on Xbox One. Uh, here we have four racers, and as you can see, the real way of sticking in front of everybody is to use that sort of shake and bake mindset with racing. So one person in front will, you know, have the slipstream, and they'll kind of trade off uh, how they're going in front and back. Uh, everybody uses the sprunk buffalo car to do this you can upgrade it 100 percent obviously nobody's picky on what type of rim the livery is always the one livery so you're kind of stuck with that side of it but in the same respect i mean you can this of it that i mean very it really shows you that for those of you who like and i'm going to say it for those of you who like the nascar style of racing this really is it and once you race it, which I think is kind of funny here because you do see us trading off and, and you see one person kind of lagging behind and they don't have a partner to race with. So being part of that not having a catch-up option for this, really as you can see, there's a certain level of moving into the zone to get your slipstream rolling. As you can see here, agents already pulled up ahead of everybody and gotten kind of a, a, a distance from everybody. So me and Giant are going to pocket each other's slipstreams here and just kind of move ourselves up now he's got no partner to push him so if i as i tuck in between giant and back and forth we're as you can see we pull up on him really fast now getting a little squirrely here so you can see there is a little bit of you know using that slipstream to pull you from one place to the other a little giant's getting a little uh, glitchy there um, and see agent gets a run on giant so he gets to pull ahead and there's a lot of tactics to the way you race here. It's not so much. So yet now, I got myself in a little bit of trouble here as I allowed them to pull ahead of me. So if they start cooperating here, they could leave me behind. So I would need another partner to pull up with to to get back on them and, and make any sort of competition. But I, I'm able to catch a slipstream back here. And once again, like just pulling off with that high line uh, into the race here. And it's incredible to see the, those types of techniques that are used in this style of racing that's not used regularly in regular races. There's a lot of people are going to use curb boosting or they're going to use tactics and turns and they're going to get, you know, use a faster car. Those options are pretty much depleted here. There's no way of using, you know, the slipstream is going to be your curb boost, your, your tactics of racing and making friends with people are really going to be the way that you win this race and if you don't have a friend you're going to find yourself being left behind it's just part of the racing you know aspect of it and there is there is certain techniques too and you really have to look for it to find ways like as you can see here like rpm kind of got left behind uh rpms is kind of a faster racer he knows how to do the lines better he's more familiar with this track but without some sort of help he's going to get be stuck way back in the back so we're seeing here I, i've already pulled a little bit ahead so see I've, I've distanced myself i've used a little bit of a down and under technique there to get 
enough out so that I've gotten him away from my slipstream so he's not able to draft me as we're coming around the corner. So we've gotten a little bit of standard uh, deviation here and we're he's going to have to make some distance up or hopefully get a partner as he comes around uh, with Giant. Hopefully him and Giant will be able to connect back up. And once you see them connect back up, you're going to see them pull really quickly up on me once they get that and it does just kind of happen as long as you know how to you know sometimes you can bleed off some speed get back to a partner and then you're making more speed as you're pulling up on everybody else and this is where the lone wolf racer just doesn't work you can't be that you know you think you can be that lone wolf fast racer and just kind of pull it 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 just doesn't function in this style of racing. So we are looking for, I believe this race right here has 30 racers that can be on it. Uh, obviously, the servers don't usually support that kind of stretch. You get sort of a, a bumpy ride, if you will, with how that's going. We're going to do our best to get it as high up as we possibly can. Um, and with this race, again, I wanted to be involved with it. I really wanted to see how it felt, what it was like. And uh, what we're going to do is, if you've seen the AWC, uh, the Atomic World Challenge stuff, it's going to be the same way. We're going to have a top-down view. Uh, the people who are involved in this race today will actually get some, some bonus points to, uh, to use towards the next races. And uh, we're going to have this every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, and we're going to start putting some feelers out there today. So if this is something you want to be involved in, uh, make sure that you're either part of the most wanted or you're part uh, in the social club or you're part of um, You know any of the stuff that we do online you can get in touch with me to make sure that you get some sort of invite to it um, And I'm like I said, I'm gonna be sending some invites out more steadily this week and getting uh, Attention to the people who were even you know involved in the AWC, etc. And this is a great way for us to, you know, AWC is very involved. It's left and right turns. It's car choices. It's making sure you stay under a par time. And with this race, there's n there's none of that there. It's very straightforward. You just have your buffalo. I mean, any kind of buffalo will do if you don't have a sprunk. Obviously, if you don't have a sprunk, you're going to be slower. So you know, it's even going to be more integral of you. Personally, I would just say, especially since I think the sprunks are free for a lot of players, just get the Sprunk Buffalo, you know, do up whatever you can to it. It's a really cheap thing to be involved in. It doesn't really matter what level you are as long as you're, you know, some, some way of a clean racer. Uh, because bumping and rubbing is going to be a big deal here. Uh, as you can see earlier, we actually had some scraping going on. So um, that kind of stuff is just going to happen. And, and this does not warrant itself to stopping and letting somebody catch up to you because there is no slowdown. There, the, the, you don't want to make enemies in here <laughs> because those enemies will pay you back in spades for whatever you're doing to them. So, um, so that's going to be a big deal as well. So we're going to have, again, when I do this, it's going to be a top-down view. We're going to follow racers around. Um, I, I don't want to be the star of the show. I want to have somebody else who you know, becomes famous racing around the track and showing their skills at, at being a different kind of racer than they're probably accustomed to. And the beauty of Grand Theft Auto is, is that that functionality is there. It doesn't take a ton of investment to get a sprunk buffalo, do it up a little bit, and then throw it on the track and, and have a ton of fun with 30 other players. So, you know, just come in, have fun, be part of the group, and it's it's going to be a blast. And like I said, we are going to advertise this to some groups out there to uh, get some get some traction to uh, make sure that we have a full room for the next one. And uh, and I expect usually we have anywhere from 16 to 20 players at least. Um, so I expect that to be a repeat this time. And that is going to be a very busy event. And it's going to take some some clean racing, some people working together and getting to the end with some excitement on it. So, so we're hoping you all are going to be a part of it. We're going to keep an eye here. So let's see. We're up on. This is going to be the last lap coming around here. As you can see, it looks like um, Giant has caught up to me, to uh, Agent, to get around the corner. Oh, no, that's, that's Agent. No, that's Giant up front here. So Giant has actually, I'm getting ready to lap Giant, which I don't think I'll make it to him before the end of the lap here. 
So that's got to be RPM with Agent back there. And I think they've already picked up their slipstream together. So as you can see, they're, they're coming up fast. And we got to come around. So we're in the back chicane of the wall. They're like right on me. There's the... There's the finish line. See how quick they're moving up. They've caught the slipstream, but it's still not going to be enough. And I'm going to pull off the first win for the Sprunk Extreme One Cup Championship. Uh, and again, for the future, I won't be racing. It'll be left up to these guys and you, the players, to make yourselves available for this and have a blast. And I'm looking forward to it. Again, it's next Sunday. There's no qualifying involved with it. You just show up line up first come first serve and uh, unfortunately giant is not going to make the end here so i'm looking forward to playing with you guys and starting some new stuff on and uh let's look at the standings real quick and as soon as that's done we're going to call it a day and uh, again email me text me do whatever you got to do to get in touch so we can have a full room for next sunday at 10 p.m eastern standard time you guys have a great night